Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Chump coming back for another video. This is a video response to one of my favourite commentators, Ronaldinho, who made a video about religion. And I thought I had um, some thoughts that I could add on the subject. Now, he was quite articulate, um, and some might question the need for this video, but, you know, this channel's for me, so I wanted to put across my point of view. I think, at, f at the first, I need to make clear that I'm, I am an atheist, um, I'm not a religious man, um, and that might inform you uh, about my opinions. Now, I know this is a sensitive subject. I know it's, to a certain extent, controversial amongst some people, but it's not to me. I think the more we have open discussions about these things, the greater the quality of our discourse can become. Right, so the first point. I try, as an atheist, to be tolerant and understanding of other people's beliefs and non-patronizing. I know a lot of religious people say that atheists are patronizing because we think we know better. And I'm not going to dress it up. We do think we know better. We do. Um, and our reasoning uh, for, for having that arrogance is that we believe we can see the flaws in dogmatic, strict, strictly governed thinking. The whole point of being able to f think freely and think for oneself is that you can formulate one's own opinion. And some extremely conservative uh, religious ways of behaving don't allow for personal freedoms like that. And I think that's what atheists in general have a problem with. If one is not allowed to think how one wants, then, you know, if, if you're enlightened enough, you should have a problem with that. If someone tells you exactly how to think, um, then you should be wary of that person. That's, that's what I believe, and I think that's a healthy way to think. In general, I think that's a healthy way to be. Someone tells you what to do. Why is never a bad question, ever. In fact, it's, prime, it's the most important question if someone's trying to tell you what to do. If someone's trying to tell you how to live, what to wear, uh, who you can marry, um, whether they be a man or a woman or your same sex, all these things. You, we should be able to make the decisions for ourselves. We are beings of reason. We have developed patterns of thought like logic for precisely this purpose. We have progressed beyond, uh, in my opinion, we've progressed beyond s rudimentary thinking. Now, I'm not a complete uh, I'm not a complete card-carrying atheist, I, I have to admit. There are some things about uh, how how uh, vitriolic some atheists can be. I, I'm a man of tolerance and compassion. I believe in humanist concepts such as empathy. You know, I think that we, we can actually all live peacefully together. That's actually part of this video. That's part of what I wanted to say. That two things, just because they conflict, does not mean that they can't exist within the same world. There's, the world's big enough for all of us. Um, the radicalization of uh, the discourse between non-belief and belief is uh, partially responsible for the fact that this is such a sensitive subject. Um, people feel very defensive when you attack their way of thinking. Either I get defensive when people say that I've got something missing in my life because I don't have Jesus in it, or, or X. It put whoever you want instead of Jesus in that um, sentence. It's just because I'm a Westerner. Uh, European that uh, I would say Jesus but if you come from any other part of the world it could be Muhammad or whoever but um, I get defensive when people say that I'm somehow inherently missing something because I don't acknowledge something that I have to believe without any evidence whatsoever and religious people get defensive when you criticize their apparent lack of reason the fact that they can believe something based on no evidence this whole evidence versus faith argument which you know those of us on either side can clearly see, well, I can clearly see why it is that this is such a big argument. From my point of view, you know, one needs evidence to believe anything. You need to, it needs to be demonstrably true um, through, I mean, there are various ways of measuring things, you know, empirical evidence, da 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 da, uh, that are just required, you know. I'd like to be dealing with facts, not just not just dreams, not just stories. They are use, you know, this is where I'm conflicted. Religion comes from that part of our mind that seeks to explain the questions that it cannot answer. It's a fundamental, I think it's fundamentally tied to our creativity. I think the part of our mind that generates new solutions to problems 
is is part of the re- most of the reason why we climbed out of the soup you know it's part of it's the same part of the brain however we've now progressed to a point where believing in some unknown deity some unknown force that it that has human characteristics let's not beat around the bush you know most people's concepts of god are either a, a man or a woman or that's all powerful all seeing all that kind of stuff it comes from, it comes from that part of our minds that is scared of the dark that wants to understand what it can't comprehend and that's that's fundamentally human and i think necessary but i think I don't know. My problem stems with religion from when people become radicalized. I've always thought it's ironic that, you know, let's talk about radical uh, religious types for a moment. That it's always funny that it's never, it's never the preachers or the imams who are the first in the line. They're never the ones to die, are they? They're always the ones inspiring the young, impressionable people to go and do their dirty work for them. It's never the clerics, it's never the priests, it's never the, the old men with all the knowledge that put their life on the line. It's always the impressionable people of which there is a limitless supply. I think that's what my problem with religion comes down to is that uh, from my point of view it's so obvious that pe- it leaves you open to manipulation because you can use fear. And I'm not a person who believes that you should use fear to motivate people. I think you should use... I think love should be a motivating factor, empathy, compassion. You know, if we're going to talk about holy men, uh, you know, there's one guy, (laughs) I'm an atheist, but there's one person who gets through to me, and um, I will be putting a quote up on the screen following this video. Um, I am an atheist, but I like what the man has to say. Let me put it that way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I didn't offend you too much.